Alright guys, this is Joe here, and um, the pictures were not great of my Biohazard Zero Magnum, so I'm going to do this for you, and give you basically an overview on what it does. Now, this is a standard box, it tells you what it is, Biohazard Zero, Capcom, Snocka Works, um, the box is a bit dented and roughed up, as you can see, like there's some in the corners and on the top but um other than that it's really nice it turns like that far in the right here let me get those off my um tells you what it is on the side again picture of the grip and japanese i can't understand it i know some but i can't read like if it's typed in like a letter format not like this stuff i forget what it's called exactly so but yeah, you can see corners a bit messed up, stuff like that. Uh, Capcom store logo, uh, model number. I don't know how many of these that were made. So I'm thinking maybe 500. I read either that or that's a 600. This like eight inch one. Sorry. The six hundred dollar one. Um, here's the manual. Uh, warning labels. Airsoft gun. Capcom. Billy Cohen. Now you open it up. Shows you like model the gun again. I can't read this it's Japanese. Like basic warning. I assume like don't aim the gun at someone's eye. <laughs> That's pretty straightforward though. How to like take it apart, I think if you have to clean it, or if you need to replace a part. Um, I think it's comparing right here the real gun and then the Magnum, like the real version that this was based off of, the S&W Model 29. Uh, but anyway, it just shows you like basic take parties. I'm back, warnings, probably more warnings, like stuff. Um, now for the gun itself. Um, it comes with like a little part. I'm not, I don't do airsoft, so I don't know anything about this like gas pellets. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of an idiot with this. But plug. Like, oh god, my fingers in front of that. I uh, like plug, pins. I don't know what this does. I don't know what this thing does. But the gun. Um, as you can see from the plastic, it has the umbrella logo and the grips. Um, umbrella on the barrel, like just like like that. And hang on a second. I'm going to prop this up on. I don't know what. Um, oh, my Pokemon's. Stare at the Pokemon for a second. <laughs> yeah, it's still running. Okay. Grips are not wooden, they're plastic. See, umbrella logo very shiny. Umbrella, this is the six inch model, so here's a. Oh god, better look at it. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if this is a defect in mine or it's in all of them, but the things popped out of it. Uh, I think, but I think there's pellets in it. As you can see from right there, I'm 30 sure there's pellets still inside of this guy. And I'm a little bit worried of cocking it back shooting it. I'm afraid I'm going to knock out like a light bulb <laughs> or my mirror. It's back behind me. Um, oh, let me shoot this a little. <laughs> Stare at the Pokemon again and stuff. Ouch! God, that caught my fingernail. Realistic looking inside. View from it's nice. Now, I'm assuming this is what it's based on. It's really, really tiny there. I'm not sure if you can see it. It says MOD, which means model 29. I'm not sure if that's 29 out of the how many they made. My brother's eating watermelon. Uh, umbrella 44 Magnum, based off of. Now, this is very realistic, so you can just give it like a little. 
Hold this for a second. Focus, focus it on the magnet. Move your finger, you idiot. Turn it this way. Hold it there. You can just go like, dude, stop. Give me it. You can just go. I'm gonna have to do this on because this idiot over here that's five years old. Just go like wheel it around a couple times. Oh. Okay, it's not hurt. <laughs> I make a lot of fails. And cock it back. Like the motion, I don't even know. Aim it. Pull it back, aim it. Shoot. Standard. This orange paint, pretty sure it was left on here. Do you customs? Not sure if I said about this already. Customize, I think, because this gun was Japan only and Japan made like limited. Like I said before, I don't know if, how many they made. I'm thinking it's 500, but that may be for the 8-inch model. I don't know. I'm trying to find out all I can on this gun, but I just don't know. But uh, very realistic looking. Um, you do not want to take it into public, like without this or any sort of identification that it is an airsoft, because they will possibly end up calling police on you, so do not bring it into public. <laughs> well, that's pretty much a no-brainer for any airsoft gun that looks like a realistic thing, and why would you even take this into public? This is limited model, but, um, it came in this plastic you see right here. Um, I'm putting it back in, that's what I do, since this is like original plastic that it, I assume came in, and I'm going to put it back for now. way better than what the pictures could have shown you. Uh, again, the grips are not real wood. They are plastic. And I don't understand the manual. <laughs> so if anybody can find me an English version of the manual, I would love you forever. And how many, and like more information on this for me, because I don't know how many of these were made. I don't know what, how to tell what model, like what number out of whatever number there was. But for some reason, this 18 keeps turning up on the box. I don't know if that's, like, the age, but... Or... I don't know anything I really about Airsoft that much myself. And I'm just... Co I just collected this. Because I love Resident Evil. Um... That's all I really can say about it. It's really nice. I paid 300... Well... Eh, I'm not gonna go where... Who paid for it. Who bought it for me. Whatever. Uh, it was $300 plus $10 in shipping, so that came to a total of $310. There's one going for 475 I think, right now on eBay, and he has not sold it, and no one has bid it on it yet. And I would not buy it. I would wait until you can, until he lowers it, like, this price, the price that I got mine at, or ask, message them and ask if they would do, like, 300 or 325 maybe, because I'm not sure how, like, ask him if he would do 300 or what would he be his minimum at it because he's gone lower i think it started at 5.99 but never pay like that uh i know a couple years back a six inch went for like 600 dollars but i mean eight inch sorry uh eight inch but um you don't see the eight inch as much so if like you find an eight inch say for the 300 dollars like buy it now on ebay get it because it's it's rarer than this one um do I plan on getting more airsoft of these, like, soft air of these? Uh, possibly, yes. I was thinking about getting, like, one of the stars models, like, Barry's or Chris's, or even Jill's, maybe. But, I don't know. Um, they're not that expensive. They're, like, $200. But, uh, this is, <laughs> well, quoting my mother, that this is all that you were going to get for the rest of the year because this was so expensive and don't expect to get much. For your birthday because this is my like really 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 early birthday present because my birthday's on august 31st um it's a really nice gun uh like i said my box is a bit banged up but that doesn't matter anything to me i like the gun and it's what it is and i love it um and i honestly cannot stop holding it i held it like 10 times last night i kept just like touching it pulling it out of the box putting it back in the box pulling it back out touching it touching it and putting it back in i have a weird obsession but, um, it's really nice. Get it as you can. And this is, like, 10 minutes long, so 